What's up guys, Bruno Ponte here, back with another tutorial. Today we're going over some more cover art. It was the exposure single to Tatted Up Fee song that we posted a few weeks ago. You guys gave me some really good feedback on Instagram, so you guys asked for the breakdown. Here it is today. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see for next week's video. And let's get started. All right guys, so as usual, we're gonna start out in Lightroom. I selected my image for today. We're gonna make a new canvas, 3000 by 3000. This will be for the cover art. I pre-masked the image for the artist already. Then I began to import the rest of the images. The crows and the doves started first before moving on to the background. So we'll skip past this and come back before I put the background in. Awesome, man. So at this point, I was about to start putting in the background. It was an image of lightning and clouds. I brought that in and I made a gradient adjustment to it right away. I put that image on hue. I flipped it around horizontally. I brought in a second pair of clouds. You guys might find this one familiar. I've used it before in a different cover art. I put the blending mode for this one on overlay, and then I moved on to the left side of the doves. Where, which was a lot brighter, so I brought in some more bright clouds. I masked it in, just made it look real finessed, like it was transitioning from light to dark, because that was the idea that we had. Overall, it was starting to come together. I decided, let's turn the crows back on. It was like a murder of crows that I masked into being just a solid black and a solid white. I put the black ones on the left, the white ones on the right for some contrast. And at that point, I started doing some color adjustment, color balance, the curves. The purpose of that was simply just to get the color contamination out of his skin. I did some retouching, I did stamping and cloning to get the blemishes out of his skin. With a white color fill layer on saturation, I retouched his eyes before moving on to exposure, just to add some more contrast to him, make him a bit darker on the right side, make him a bit lighter on the left side. All this before moving on to doing colorizing, I added a color fill of red, I gave it a gradient so it could not just go from light to dark, but also from blue to red. That then led me into bringing in the birds. I duplicated them to the front. I also masked them into the left side that was a bit lighter so that he could fit better on that side before bringing in a vignette that was kind of gonna bring everything together. That was done on a white color fill layer. I then moved on to doing the title of the song. I found this font called Quinn, which fit perfectly in my opinion. So then I just moved on to doing the name of the artist. This font is Pac-10 Limo. At this point, I was super happy. The cover's looking crazy. I was almost finished. So I knew I just had a few steps left. I had to add the parental advisory notice, which I did here. I went into the color for the font and I made it a little lighter than the font color for the exposure text. And so for the layer style of the artist name, I gave it an outer glow. You can see the settings for that right here. And so right before I finished this, I just wanted to get him to the center, move everything else around, fix the vignetting, fix the background, and did the last bit of masking on his hair. I brought back in a piece of his beard that was missing, and then I sealed this all together with a gradient map of black to sepia on saturation blending mode at about 65%. The artist was super excited with how it came out. I was super happy with how it came out, and here's the final result. Alright guys, that's it for this week's video. Drop a comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and continue to send your artwork my way so that I can send you feedback. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.